So today I'm out here to check out the Viper Room. And this is a legendary music club over on Sunset Boulevard in LA. And it was actually opened by Johnny Depp and Sal Janko in 1993. And this will soon face a wrecking ball. And will be replaced by a luxury condo. So this was a place for a lot of the elite at the time. A lot of the young actors, young stars would come here and hang out. And this place has a pretty, pretty big history. I mean, even before Johnny Depp owned it, there's some history that I want to go over later on in this video. But Johnny Depp owned this between 1993 and 2004 and in this place in the in the uh, Viper room back in its heyday you would see the likes of Jennifer Aniston Leonardo DiCaprio you'd see Tobey Maguire Keanu Reeves and last but not least River Phoenix how many of you might remember the year 1993 on Halloween, River Phoenix overdosed in front of the Viper Room, right around here. He was only 23, had a long acting career ahead of him, been in movies, one of my favorite movies, uh, Stand By Me, a uh, promising actor, died at the age of 23 right here so this here is the payphone from which Joaquin Phoenix called 911 while River Phoenix his brother was overdosing and this says right here is that a payphone and the other vulture says thought they were extinct. The payphone used to be right here. Right down the road from the Viper Room. Apparently he overdosed right by the front door. Right after taking a speedball. kind of sad to see something with so much history you know be torn down and replaced with uh, you know high-rise condos I mean I understand you know obviously that you know things need to move on but it's uh, such an icon and surely will be missed so Johnny Depp owned this between 1993 and uh, 2004 and he ended up uh, losing losing his share through a uh, through a court case. His partner at the time was Anthony Fox, and again, I'm not going to get too far into this, but the day that Anthony Anthony Fox was to appear in court testify and go up against Johnny Depp he ended up missing he became a missing person the day that he was supposed to appear in court against Johnny Depp you can look all this up I'm not gonna go too far into it but regardless of what really happened Johnny Depp was forced to relinquish his share of the Viper Room. The Viper Room was actually known for a bunch of different things. I mean, not good things either. I mean, there was illegal gambling that happened. There was uh, people taken out on stretchers at one point. Um, you had River Phoenix die 
in the front of the Viper Room. Johnny Depp owned this place and did some rather terrible things, actually, if, it's, if the stories are true. But apparently, from what I've been hearing is in 2023, this place will be torn down originally back in uh, the 1950s. This was actually a strip club and it was owned by a gangster, Mickey Cohen. I'm not the most familiar with Mickey Cohen, but he was basically a uh, well-known mobster back in the 50s. And a couple other historical uh, nightclubs slash landmarks down Sunset is you have the Whiskey A Go Go right there. And down the road, a little, little bit more down there is the Rainbow. And they were right down the road from the Viper Room. So just basically out here to say the goodbyes before it's completely gone, before it meets that wrecking ball. Goodbye, Viper Room. But hey, you like historical buildings like I do, you like checking out stuff, old relics, any time, type of stuff like that, check this video out right over here. If you like this video and you like this kind of running through the history of a building, check this one out. He'll like that one too. And I'll catch you guys over there. See you later.